Welcome to the Tiger Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we watched the sixth episode of Amama to Inazuma. Kaioza! If you want to check out our reaction to the sixth episode of Amama to Inazuma, Hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we'd love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for watching. watching. So this time on Amama to Inazuma. Uh, the anime achieved food porn status. Gyoza. Mm, Gyoza. Gyoza. Gyoza will always win us over. Gyoza's awesome. But anytime you combine one wheat meat with another, Chicken wing gyoza. Brilliant! Yeah. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm totally gonna be trying that out. Mm -hmm. Like tonight. <laughs> like very, very, very <laughs> serious. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, what, what was. Uh, what was Katori's friend's name? I can't remember. Ah, oh, shit. Anyway, Katori's friend, the twin tail girl. She ended up finding out uh, that that uh, Kohei and Katori and Sumugi were uh, having the their cooking time or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, because she went over to Katori's house when Kohei and Sumugi were over there, so she ends up proposing <coughs> that you know that she join them for the for the next time that they get together. And then tell Sumugi it's a it's a party. Today, being a small child and therefore quite impressionable, yes, uh, she misunderstands that into thinking that it's going to be an actual party, and starts inviting or starts making invitations for everyone, like all of her school friends. Yagi. It's a good thing Kohei kind of caught her uh, before she got all the invitations out. Yeah. Because could you imagine the restaurant filled with that many people? Oh, God. I, I thought I, that was actually going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of did, too. Because I figured she would have, like, handed out the invitations at school and invited, you know, all the all of her classmates over and then Yagi as well, so. Fortunately, she was making the invitations after school when she was waiting for her sitter to show up. Uh, so the only invitation that she actually got out was the one to Yaki. <laughs> and even though Kohei um, caught her and made made her not give the invitations out, shut that, she, shut that shit down. <laughs> yeah, she failed to mention to him that she had already invited Yagi. Right, right. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, so the next time that they that they get together, uh, they they decided that they're doing gyoza. And yes, uh, pot stickers for the the, uh, the scene at the school time. where right because the, the the invitations reminded Sumugi and Kohei. Uh, Kohei of gyoza, and so at school. He, uh, oh. she, she, he talks with uh, Katori and says, you know, talk, talks about gyoza. And she's like, <gasps> gyoza? Relationship. Uh, it, was, it was more like, gyoza? <gasps> gyoza gets me excited. <laughs> Relationship goals. Find a, uh, find a lover who thinks about you the same way Katori thinks about gyoza. <laughs> <laughs> Makes her mouth water and everything. Uh... But actually, but, uh, <laughs> how uh, actually uh, I wanted to mention how Kohei and Samugi uh, thought about doing gyoza because of Samugi's invitation. The most adorable brainstorming session ever. Indeed. They both think of it at the same time. Oh. Gyoza. <laughs> gyoza. So it's this one, gyoza? No, it's supposed to be the moon. It's a moon. It's a moon. Uh, gyoza. My mouth is watering. <laughs> 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 but um. But yeah, so so the day of, uh, every, everybody shows up to uh, to start on the gyoza, and then Yagi walks in the door. I got an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> so plain about it. 
I, I like how he looks like such a tough guy, but it's like, yeah, I got an invitation from this five-year-old girl. <laughs> it's it's like being handed an invisible telephone, you know? If, if a little uh, kid hands you something, no matter how much of a badass you are, you're going to pick it up. Right. It's just one of the fundamental rules of the universe. Yeah, it's just funny. <laughs> Uh, but so they decide that, that since Yagi's already there, he might as well stay and help out. Yeah. As it turns out, Yagi and Katori's friend did, are both much better chefs. Much Damn. better chefs. <laughs> I, I believe I mentioned it. Uh, yeah, I mentioned it in the reaction, but uh, the look on uh, Kohei, Katori, and Sabugi's face, our faces, yeah, like it's, it's, a, it's like cavemen discovering fire. <laughs> I want to point out again in this episode, uh, Katori had a cut on her on her hand. She had a band-aid on one of her fingers. Oh, yeah. Again. I'm kinda curious about that. Because hmm. that doesn't seem like something that they'd throw in. And she did seem like softly skittish. Um, I mean not uh, just because she was a little overly skittish to oh, yeah. around with yeah. the knives. Yeah. So there's, they're gonna have to go into detail on that later on. <laughs> before before we get before we get out of this one, um, I wanted to mention two things. First off, the before at the beginning of the episode, um, uh, Katori's friend when she walks in, right? Katori. Yeah. That's the chick's name. Yeah. Uh, Katori, name, man. Katori's friend walks in and her face like. <laughs> That was that was priceless, but Samuki was also like, "Hey, yeah, customer." I'm curious what conversation they were having before that. Yeah, <laughs> why she? Do. Well, why Katori had the ah shit face on? Yeah. Oh, I think it's because she's with a teacher from their school, and that's kind of well. Yeah. Well, the, the friend already knew about it. Oh yeah. But um, well, sort of. Much. I mean. Katori, Katori, Katori never actually mentioned to the friend. Though. Yeah, the uh, the friend had heard from hearsay, really, mm. because uh, Katori's mother talked to Katori's friend's mother, and then rumors. Yeah, her mother told her. But well, that's, um, well that's actually probably why uh, Katori had that all shit phase on is because you know that's how some rumors start. Yeah. Um, listen to "Don't Stand So Close to Me" by the Police to uh, get where I'm going with it. And then the uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention uh, that uh, Yagi, when he was pushed aside for the end, <laughs> when they uh, decided to flip the gyoza oh, out of yeah. hand, um, he mentions that he's back in in this role again. Hmm. Those were his words. Yes. Like his face just dropped, and I was like, "Oh, so I'm back in this role again." So I'm wondering exactly how uh, how that role has played out in the past, just a little bit. Oh, I if it has something to do with uh, Kohei's wife, perhaps. Yeah, with, with Sumugi's mother. Interesting. And I wonder if he's actually a cook. <laughs> They didn't say uh, that the chicken wing gyoza was on the menu, so I assume that the, those two siblings have a restaurant. Uh, I think uh, I think he might have he might have said that it was on the menu for tonight. It's another item on the menu tonight. Oh, okay. That so might have like been it. Family recipe then. But I don't. Um... I'm actually I'm actually now uh, quite intrigued about the yeah that role. Yagi was a. Uh, well, complaining sounds a bit terse, but uh, it's the best term I can come up with right now. Oh, I'm here again, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, I would like to see uh, how that fits into Kohei's backstory. Anyway. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, let us know what you thought of the anime and what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Hit thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See you next time.